Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome to Georgia. It is the uh, evening before the Georgia private land opener. And this past year, I got into a, uh, a hunting club, sight unseen. Believe it or not, somebody posted something on Facebook, and I responded. Said they had turkeys and just a few turkey hunters, and so I got in it. It was that simple. Nothing um, really extravagant about it. I'd never seen it. So talked to the guy. He said, yeah, we got some turkeys. And we don't have many turkey hunters, so here I am. Um, got about an hour to fly up. I came in here a uh, day before yesterday, had a look around, heard a couple turkeys, believe it or not. But what I did notice is there's a sign-in board, and uh sucker's been hopping pretty good. So um, I don't know what a few turkey hunters are. Maybe it is a few compared to how many deer hunters are keeping the place lit up during deer season. But uh, anyways... Um, I'm in here. I'm going to try to get turkey to gobble this evening. I'm going to try a little bit harder, maybe push a little bit harder than I normally would because I think getting one roosted is about the only way you're going to kill one tomorrow because it's supposed to be bad, bad weather in the morning, breaking daylight. They're talking about like a quarter inch of rain at daylight. Um, six, seven, like all the way through, it's going to be raining like crazy. Even talking about some severe weather, the tornadoes and them little twisters and all that kind of good stuff. So. Ground is just littered with scratching right through here. It was like this the other day too. I ain't too sure they hadn't been back. When I come in here two days ago, there was a turkey on top of this ridge about 30 minutes after fly down, 45 after fly down. The cutting mission's going pretty well. As you can tell. He was up here, I got all this scratching, but I just got a feeling he was off the back. It goes down into some more pines, little food plot way back in there, and I'm thinking that when I heard him, he was coming up the other evening to get this high ground to gobble, so I'm trying to make it to the top, but gosh, I'm so nervous, I'm going too slow, really. Have these little food plots all out in this stuff with their box stands and everything. Um, some droppings out in this thing. I mean, probably be a pretty good little sit if it's supposed to be heavy rain tomorrow. Kind of hunker down in this stuff and call it a morning. Alright, I 
I think I got everything squared away. Um, got one roosted. Um, strategy, strategy, strategy. <laughs> um, typically on a normal day, normal evening, I probably wouldn't have roosted that turkey, but I got overly aggressive. I don't like pushing in when there's a big chance on busting birds, but in the morning we're expecting really rough weather. So I know you're gonna have to be under one in order to, uh, to even be able to get in the game. So I pushed it and it paid off. Um, the reason I was in this particular area is because I was in here two days ago. I heard that turkey about 30 to 45 minutes after fly down and he was gobbling good. So basically of the turkeys I heard, he was gobbling the best. So I figured he was gonna be the most likely of the turkeys that I have found to gobble in the evening. I've got a couple like plan B, C, and D's, all depending on which way he decides to fly down out of the tree, but fingers crossed that he just sets him wet wings and, and lands right in front of us. So all kind of little strategies and nooks and crannies and tactics and whatever's went into getting that turkey up on the limb, but we got it done and uh, maybe he didn't blow away tonight. We will uh, see all y'all in the morning. Welcome to the opening morning of George's private land. Spring turkey season. And uh, I can give credit when credit's due. The weatherman, he smoked this one. Wind's blowing about 50-11. It's raining. The rain's kind of slacked at the moment, but the lightning is popping. That was thunder y'all just heard rolling in the distance the weather the weather forecast has changed to now they're expecting three quarters three quarters of an inch of rain at 7 a.m which is right about time he should fly down 7 10 7 15 storms causing his sisters it's calling calling my bluff i guess is what it's doing i am suited up rain suit head to toe we got a second rain jacket in the in the bag zip blocks but man it ain't the rain and it ain't the that lightning just hit the ground right here behind me somewhere i mean this thing could not be sizing up more perfectly for like sunrise that's honest like it ain't coming in right before it so I can kind of see how bad it's going to be and let it get through. It ain't coming in right after it so I can kind of try to push it. It's coming in at the moment that turkey should be starting to gobble and fly down. I mean perfectly. So far I'm thinking we <clears throat> made the right call because I don't think the uh, camera equipment would have lived through this one. But um I'm listening to my brain, not my heart, because he wants to be right up under where we found him. Eight o'clock. Rain finally moved out. Everything's dripping. I don't I mean it's bright now. Assuming the turkey's on the ground, so I'm just gonna slip down through here and uh see if we can strike him, I reckon. It's the only thing I know. I don't know what kind of attitude he's gonna be in, but I don't know. Can't believe we come in here and roosted that turkey that well and then couldn't go sit up on him. But it was bad. It got bad, bad. We already had a guy. I don't know why we have these signing boards at these clubs and stuff. You have these signing boards. You sign into a spot. Um, and I mean, I thought that meant that, you know, hey, I'm hunting here, kind of give me a little space or steer clear or whatever. guy just drove down on me on the four-wheeler and he turned around though so that's good anyway let's go down here to that neck of the woods assume that the turkey just uh just got on the ground maybe he's feeling a lot looking for company
He's still gobbling. He's gobbling right where I left him, Mr. Steven. He's still down there. He's, he's right off that row. I'm just gonna wait on him to come up this road into this food plot. I think that's best. This ridge right here is going to get considerably louder. This gobble wheel right now it sounds kind of muffled because he's over that rolling ridge.
how did uh, I turn this GoPro on um, as I started left the truck and uh, when I killed the turkey it had been on for 20 minutes I got stayed in the truck through the terrible terrible weather as soon as it broke as soon as it got light enough I figured him turkey's probably starting to fly down now I got down got out walked down here past these two little food plots and a yelp and a turkey gobbled basically right under where I had him roosted which was a couple hundred yards off the back of these food plots and I thought all right can't get to where I wanted to be where we had picked out last night but he's got to be coming to these food plots considering how wet everything is and um, we were right he, he gobbled and it's like a nice little roll off so he didn't sound that close but I, I knew better from walking it yesterday so the time we devoted to learning this place yesterday evening late paid off I had no idea that he had I think it was two jakes and a hen or two with him they surprised me I bet he is a muddy freaking mess there was a hide on a cedar bush right there big pines up on a up on a hump so I knew like I tried to get against the pine and it was just too much of a hump so I basically laid on my back and clipped me out one little hole through that cedar bush and that little flock came right up the road that I walked down yesterday evening couldn't happen more perfect but man he's flopping right in the drain of water we wanted to let him hang and dry Sitting in the rain. Couldn't be more blessed to sit in the rain. More. <laughs> oh man, life is good. Springtime, rain or shine, baby. It's a hell of a time. Hell of a time. If you get to come in here and partake in the life of something that grand. giving us the rain to quench the thirst of all these flowers and grasses and trees that that are putting it on right now and thank you for giving them the breath to, to do what they do hoping today I'm Georgia and the rain thunderstorms and at all we uh we made the most of it if we hadn't come in here and roosted that turkey yesterday evening I don't think we'd be sitting with him because uh, we just knew where to go. We knew where to be. Just, man, I was like, all the pretty yelping, the grand national winning yelping, world champion yelping, does not, it can't be, that. you can't substitute that for knowing where the turkey's at. Like, we had to come in here yesterday afternoon and walked a million miles and did what we did to find where that turkey was. We wouldn't have been in the right place to kill him. It ain't the yelping sometimes, folks. Most of the time, it's not the yelping. It's just being out there. Let's uh, we're getting him to the house and getting a fan on him so that he can dry up. Because as much as I love turkeys, just like humans, just like me, when I get wet, I'm not so pretty. I get get all roughed up, and I'm fixing to uh, throw a fan on him and spruce things up. 
We'll have a cigar. I mean, he looks pretty, and we look pretty. Or at least he looks pretty. Oh, got back to the truck, and daggone sun popped out. Well, I didn't get back to the truck. I got back into the truck and hung out for a minute, and the dang sun popped out. We're supposed to have a wind advisory kicking. Uh, supposed to have started an hour ago, but it's starting to get a little breezy, but it ain't bad yet, so I figure, hey, we'll go ahead and have this cigar. Sun found a cloud, but it's brightened up. Here's songbirds coming out to be a pretty fine day. So anyway, we're gonna have a cigar, chat about our morning up under a big wet gobbler. Mm, mm, mm. We'll have to keep puffing on this one because she's a little wet. Get a little damp. One of them days it would have been awful, awful easy to Turn that alarm clock off and roll over. And I can't say that if it wouldn't have been opening day, we'd have been a little less uh, determined because that was a bad one that came through, right? I mean, it couldn't have squared up fly down time any better. And uh, that camera right there, the last three haven't liked the rain. I mean, there's something going on there, but last three of those cameras have not liked the rain so I'm trying to keep that one out of it as much as I can we're going to have to hit it with a little hair dryer here in a little bit because it uh just a little misty this morning not too bad tried to keep the sleeve of that leafy coat over it best I could but when a turkey's gobbling and bearing down on you you just got to turn press record and turn it in the right direction I ain't got a clue what we got but uh I can see him just fine through that fast fire Man, what a day. Hope the day of Georgia. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down at the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.